If you travel back and forth through the San Ysidro Port of Entry, now is the time to start planning ahead for a closure of all of the entry's southbound lanes. We're talking about the 805 and the 5. South serious. It's two weeks away, and as KUSI's Ed Linderman tells us, officials are getting the word out now for obvious reasons. Periodically, and we're going on eight years now, we've updated you on the huge expansion and modernization project going on at the busiest land border crossing in the Western Hemisphere. Much of the emphasis has been on reducing an often two and a half hour wait heading into the U.S. More northbound lanes, 15 more inspection booths, all but one double stacked, easier access for pedestrians. However, in general, everyone who's coming north is also going south. So really, uh, if we just fix the northbound direction, we're only, you know, completing half the puzzle. Welcome to phase three of the $741 million project, which includes expanding the southbound lanes from five to 10, requiring a complete closure of the I-5 and 805 southbound lanes south of the 905. The date, Saturday, September 23rd, 3 a.m. through Monday the 25th, 12 noon. For 57 hours, everybody will be rerouted along the 905 to the Otay Mesa port of entry and to a lesser extent, the north-south Route 125. As a result, travelers are encouraged at best to avoid the border area period and at the very least, avoid peak travel times. Take advantage of the trolley or carpool because there's more. Following the closure, the number of southbound lanes at San Ysidro will be reduced from five to three for approximately eight to nine weeks. But first things first, everybody involved from the General Services Administration to Caltrans and officials of South Bay cities encouraging commuters and travelers to plan ahead and stay abreast through the media, social media, and the GSA website. No question, there will be delays on the 905. Gridlock? That's up to the public. That's why they're trying to get the word out on all of this so early. Planning ahead. And here, Kleppy brought up the Armageddon fears in L.A. and the Darmageddon fears here when major freeways were shut down. People really had uh, a choice to make. They could be part of the solution, part of the problem. What we're asking folks to do is really follow a couple basic concepts. Uh, consider transit, crossing as a pedestrian. Uh, if you have to drive, consider leaving earlier in the week. Uh, don't wait till Friday to cross the border. Consider leaving Wednesday or Thursday. Planning ahead. At the border, Ed Lenderman, KUSI.